Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today I have Ellie all dressed in this iconic dress. Most of you guys won't remember this dress. It's really special to me. It's got like a farm scene on it. You can't hardly see because it's been washed so much. It's got a farm scene on it and it's got horses on it. And this dress was a matching dress to a dress that Gabby had when she was a year old. I think I have pictures. But the reason that it's so special to me is because <laughs> she hates it. She's like, oh, I'm dressed again. <laughs> So the reason that this dress is so special to me is because Macy wore this dress way back when Gabby was a year old. So like 15 years ago, Macy wore this dress and it fit her a lot differently than it fits Ellie. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna take it off. She's not gonna keep it on. I just wanted to put it on to see if it fit her and just to see what she would look like. I already picked her bow for the day and I picked a dark pink one today. So it doesn't actually vibe with her dress, but I love it. I love it, Ellie. <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> She's not really stressed out from the dress. It's bedtime. It's nap time. She's been up running since 6.30 this morning. So that's why she's looking like this. They're all going to think that you don't like clothes. She does like clothes, you guys. She's not used to this dress for sure. But look at how cute. If I put a light pink bow with that, she would just look so cute. Fun fact, this dress came with the dress that Gabby had. I bought it for Gabby's birthday, and it came with a dress that was for a doll. And so I put it on Macy. Aw. I put it on Macy, and instead of being for a doll, we used it for Macy. It's a little dirty and run, oh, run down, but I found it in the basement when I was cleaning out the basement this last month. And I knew that I was going to try and put it on another one of our, of our dogs. You look so cute. You do. You look so cute. <laughs> so the girls are doing school. Gabby's working with a math tutor today. I'm going to do some work with our chickens a little bit later. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that one of our chickens, we have one chicken that has an actual disability. It's our first disabled chicken. I think it's this one. <gasps> It's this one. So, oh my goodness. So I did some stuff to her feet today to try and fix it and this one came off. So basically, her toes all look great except for these last, this last toe over here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this one toe is turned in on both sides. So I'm trying to train it. If you guys can see this toe, this last toe is turns in so I'm trying to train it to stay out and I'm gonna have to rig up another little band-aid treatment for her because having a toe that turns in just like for people can lead to issues later in life with pain and I don't want her to have that issue she is a black copper moran I love her she's so sweet and she's doing well other than she has that toe that turns in okay so speaking of homeschool Sam bought these 30 days lost in space kits and he's going to do them with the girls next week actually maybe not next week maybe the week after because we're just about to have Easter Easter break but anyways uh, it comes with all this stuff this is a circuit breaker is that what those it is? Those are extra. Explain what those are. It's um it's um it's done by NASA so the idea is that your spaceship crashes and you have all the parts to make a circuit board but you also have to program it so they're going to learn so, to make circuit boards and learn programming and programming yeah and they're going to fix the space shuttle that's right so they can yeah so the planet that they crash landed on yeah so it's super cool because then they get to learn these skills where they wouldn't normally have done it um in necessarily in our curriculum that we have but it makes it special because it's hands-on and lots of times people learn so much better with hands-on. So they're going to be building a space shuttle soon in homeschool. Alright, it's been over a week since we got our first new chickens. And you guys know that I've been praying and hoping for the black copper moran to lay an egg and she did today. It's a, bl it's a dark brown and it's speckled, which I'm in love with. That's so exciting. And then we got uh, a couple of beige ones. They look more cream in the camera, but they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. If you guys are chicken people, then you'll know how exciting it is to see new eggs in your coop. 
but especially like this has been I've been wanting a black copper Moran hen for so long and that's the color of eggs that they lay so I'm excited it is actually so cold outside whoa <laughs> don't run into me it's literally like winter again it's horrible I hate it and every day Ellie goes to the door and asks me like can we go outside now and she's on high alert like every time I walk towards the door she's like I'm coming <laughs> so I have to take her out for a run you gonna go for a run she really wants to go in the car though she keeps asking me to go in the car isn't that nuts <laughs> come in come on you want to go in the car oh my god someone said they'd pay money to see you chase her <laughs> yeah. I'll walk down to the barn with her. Come on, this way. This way. Don't drink muddy puddles. That's the only bad thing she does. Come on. It's muddy. Come on. We are headed out in just a few minutes to pick something up. But before we go, Sophie has like a big video, uh, reveal video, I guess, coming out soon. And we're going to shoot some bits of it. Secret that she's been keeping from you guys. So we're gonna try and shoot that. If you're interested, keep watch. When the weather gets bad, we feed the horses in the arena. I love having this arena. The fact that we have this arena, even though it's small, the one saving grace of this arena, having this arena, is the fact that we can feed the horses in here when the weather gets bad, and they love it. Like, when the weather gets bad, our horses literally run to the gate, freak out, they're like, help! <laughs> and so I'm so grateful that we can feed them in here and Gabby's in charge of cleaning up the arena oh hello <laughs> so she does it at night chores we'll see if she does it tomorrow tonight look at the birds Ellie <laughs> she's like I saw birds <laughs> literally she thinks she's like a big dog she's like I'll get it <laughs> Uh-oh. Willow. Well, that was close. They were, she was running around having the best time. And then the other, the other horses came running in. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. I know, you all are interested in her. I just want to keep her alive. Oh, man. This dog has nine lives. I need to go get my leash. That was close. <laughs> It wasn't actually close, it just scared me that all the horses ran in at the same time and Ellie was on the ground and I didn't know for sure she'd come to me and she got confused. I was like, Ellie, Ellie, come here. And then, yeah. <laughs> Ew, after you ate out of a muddy puddle. Anyways, I'm just glad that she did come to me. I'm just really so ready to resume our horsey life and I just, it's such an awful feeling to have like such a huge setback, like all the snow and all the cold. Hello. All right, we got Sophie here. Me. All right, are you ready? Yeah. To make this announcement? Mm -hmm. All right. You guys will have to wait for a few minutes. You guys will have to wait a couple of days. Okay, so uh, we just shot the video. I'm super excited. Actually, we have some more that we have to shoot tomorrow. And then once I can get it edited, we'll put it up for you guys. But yeah, we've been keeping a secret from you. But we are really excited. We are really excited to do the big reveal. Anyway, we're headed out now to do a little bit of shopping. I need to get some more stuff for, wow, it's so bumpy. I need to get a little bit of stuff for our plants because obviously we're not gonna be planting them in the ground anytime soon with all this new snow. I'm so excited that our chickens laid eggs though. Like, I'm we starting to worry. Eggs. So we got our last clutch of eggs, you guys. These are the last eggs we're gonna hatch. And they're little tiny ones. Silkies. This is Sophie and my favorite oh, it's a breed of this chickens. Is a rooster. You think so? Because it's so pointy. Look. So these are them. Put them in. But I got super smart and I set my incubator up before we left so that I could make sure that I had the right humidity. And it actually has too much water in it, so I'm going to dump a little. And I got new batteries for this one, so I'm going to. This is the, the thing that oh, came. Step, open the thing. Yeah, this is the thing that came with the incubator that broke the last time. So I'm going to put new batteries it? in it. She's rolling her head into my purse. <laughs> She's like, do you have gum? <laughs> what are you doing? Sure, what would you get for me? 
the brown egg we got. Yeah, we're both proud of our brown egg. It's, I love brown eggs. I know, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have like brown eggs. Like usually when we give my grandkids eggs every year, we're then- giving them the brown ones. Yeah, we give them like blue and white and tan, but now we're gonna have every different color. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 